All right, well, say goodbye to the overworld of Hyrule. This is, uh, well, this is it. We're heading into the Tower of the Gods for the last time. We'll be hopefully going down to Hyrule and finishing the game. Well done, Link. You must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. Oh, what is this? There, on your hand. The Triforce Peace now dwells within you. It is the Triforce of Courage, proof that you are indeed the true hero. You have controlled the wind and crossed the seas, and here, near the end of your quest, the power of the gods has been bestowed upon you. Surely, from this moment on, you shall be known as the Hero of Winds. Link! Hero of Winds, go forth to Hyrule, to Zelda's side. All right, well, here we are back in Hyrule. This is the last time we'll be visiting this area, since this is the end of the game and all that. What you gotta say? Actually, you know what? This this actually might be the last time we see Mr. Boat. Now that I really think about it. Oh, Mr. Boat, I'm gonna miss you! Oh, you're just gonna yawn, alright. Way to break up that, that sad moment there. Yeah, alright. Bye, Mr. Boat. I would surely miss you! Um, for some reason I remember there being more enemies spawning here. Is that a guy over there? Or is that a statue? What is that? That's a rock. Never mind. I'm going crazy. Yeah, we just gotta go back down here. I could have sworn this was closed off last time we were here. No, well, Zelda's still there. I guess nothing too bad's happened. Um, what? I didn't know Zelda could do that. You have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I have taken your precious Zelda. And here, you shall fall into eternal slumber. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey guys. I want to say we haven't fought these versions of Dark Nuts yet. This is the first time this has happened. I want to say this is actually one of the last times we're going to fight Dark Nut type enemies. Which is very unfortunate. Alright, come on. Here we go. Got two hits. Oh, you know what? Here we go. Actually, no, that guy's not gonna let me do it. And here we go! Wow, that didn't hurt them nearly as much as I thought it was going to. But yeah, I don't usually like to use the uh, hurricane thingy in uh, normal battles. There's only one battle in particular that I like to use it in, and that's the reason that I usually try and pick it up. And then the fire just goes away. Alright, so... Uh, where we want to go is kind of where, uh, I think I showed it off before, but it's that bridge that we couldn't get through before. Now we can actually go there. Yeah, okay, Link's just gonna go there automatically. 
Yeah, that, that's kind of your way of saying, hey, go that way. And, uh, yeah, we're now kind of outside of Hyrule for reals this time. This is, uh, the Hyrule of other game. Ow. Hey, what gives? I like to imagine that he didn't actually hit that shield, he just kind of waved his sword around and it was just scared. Ugh, why are there pee, pa pee pats? Why are there pee hats down here? But yeah, this, this area is its pretty linear, it's not like you can actually go and explore Hyrule. Because that would extend the game quite a bit and there's not really any, any point. Although it would be cool to kind of explore Hyrule, uh, you know, in the Wind Waker style. Speaking of cool things that I'd like to see in the Wind Waker style, apparently this game was originally going to allow Link to age, which would have been really cool, and you could have been like a uh, teenage Link, and I really, there's concept art of it, and it looks really cool, but I would have really liked to have seen what Link would have looked like, like a, a normal teenage Link, what he would have looked like in this game's art style. But, uh... That would be fairly difficult to pull off in a game like this, like, age mechanics, that's just a little odd. Ow. You both hit each other at the same time. Alright. Oh, and if you go to the map, it says no area map, so that's pretty cool. I think it's, it's actually kind of eerie. There's some keys there, but who cares? I, mean, I do like this area, I think it's pretty cool, again. Uh, there, there would be no real point to explore Hyrule, but I think it'd be a neat touch. But again, that would take a little too much effort. Not that I'm saying Nintendo doesn't put effort into their games, I'm just saying not that kind of effort. So we're going to enter the, the last quote-unquote temple. And one of my favorite things about this is that if you can hear in the background... It sounds like someone's playing the piano. The dun, da dun, da dun. That's uh, I think it's supposed to be Ganon playing the piano, but I don't know. But it, it, whatever it is, it's cool. So this is Ganon's tower. This is a real joke. What do we do here? I don't think we do anything here, but. We want to go to each of these areas. Each of these areas reflects an area that we've already been to. So, let's go try that out. I, I'm fairly certain you could do them in any order. But I do have to say, this is the weakest... Probably the weakest temple in the game. It's just not not really a challenge. Alright, I see a whiz robe. Yeah, that's what I want. That's a lot quicker than using the arrows. I don't know why I've never done that before. Ooh, 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 ooh. Want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need that, but I do want it. Just like that rupee. I didn't need it, but I wanted it. So now, this is based on the uh, wind temple. Clearly. And, uh, there are puzzles that reflect the way that the Wind Temple worked in, uh, you know, from before. Do we want to do anything here? Yeah, let me just examine the top of this bit here. No, I don't think we could do anything with that, so I'm just gonna go over here. Is there anything we can do with this, though? Alright, never mind. Hello. I'm probably gonna derp around here. Is killing these guys gonna, like, do anything? Is it gonna, like, give me anything? No? Alright, then I need to find a way up there. Oh. I found a way up there. See, again, I'm overthinking. I'm thinking that it's like, gonna be a little harder than it is, but it's not. It's very simple. And right through here, 
We have to fight a boss. Since we've already fought this boss, and it's just gonna take up time that we don't really need, and it's just literally recycled content, I'm gonna skip the boss. You know, if you wanna see this boss, if you're upset that I'm skipping it, but still wanna see it, uh, just go to the video where I fought it again. So, there you go. Alright, well that's, uh, that's one boss down. Which means now one of the sections of the giant door in the center of this room has been activated. Let's see, which way do we go? Does the, the, do the doors close? I think that's the way we just went, so let's go this way. Man, those things, seriously, they, they, were ne they were a joke in the beginning of the game, and they're even more so now. Like, come on. Ah, uh, the uh, Earth Temple. The one that I, I when I was editing those videos, I was cringing hard. I did terribly. <laughs> I, I don't even care. These doors can hit me all they want. Uh, I don't think there's anything important in any of those. Oh, also, something shitty that happens is uh, they kind of unequip your items, which is dumb. Uh, fighting the boss is just unequip your items, which is really it's just stupid. Did that fairy just fly off? That was the only thing in these things that I wanted. Alright, well, let's keep going. Maybe we can get a heart out of that. Nope, rupees, which is something we don't need right now. So yeah, here's another, uh... kind of thing over here that, uh... Again, it's they, they just borrow elements from the, uh the dungeons and put them in your, uh, or in the little mini dungeons here. See, did that already do that? Yeah, that already went back up. Alright. So I'm gonna take care of these guys. I assume a Stalfos is gonna be in one of these. Oh no. Oh, there's a fairy. Hold on. Of course that would happen. I like how I'm already derping in this one. Like, this is just, it's destined to, while I'm playing this, just be shitty for me, and I don't know why. Alright. We're gonna wanna lure these guys over here. Come on, come on, guys. Come on. Alright, we got one of these guys. All we have to do is put him on that, uh, button over here and then rush to the other side of the, uh, of the room. Again, not very difficult. They're just little mini corridors that have sort of puzzles in them. Uh, I don't have to do it twice, do I? Okay, at least I don't have to go back down, I don't think, anyway. Unless there's no chew jellies in this area, or choo choos, sorry. So choo choo, there we go. I thought I had to go back down and maybe do it in one fell swoop, but no, that doesn't seem to be what uh, happens. I don't know how long it takes these guys. Oh, I guess not long, because that one already reset. I'd say maybe a minute, probably. Which is plenty of time for you to do what you want to do. Ugh. Somehow I knew. Are you kidding me? I guess like around 30 seconds then. This was unnecessary here. Where'd he go? Don't you dare re reform your body, sir. Ugh, you suck. Get over here, Barry. Again, I hate when they get cornered like that. It's just one big annoyance. Alright, let's do this now. Alright, here we go. Pick up those hearts, please. No! Ho ho! Ho ho! Ho 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 ho! And boss number two, weird jello guy, or whatever his name is. 
I will say that this one is much easier this time due to the fact that we now have uh, this guy here, which we can just kind of use to fuck everyone's day up. And that's that guy done. And with the second guy done, that means two little areas of the door are now unlocked. So we're gonna head over here. This should be the forest haven. Oh, you can actually tell because it's got like vines and stuff on it. That's pretty cool. I actually never noticed that before. Which is weird. I keep saying that, like, but I keep noticing things and it's... We're at... Oh, it unequipped everything again. Thanks, game. You know, I've been playing this game for 12 years and there are still things that I just don't notice. Yeah, I don't know. Don't ask. Alright. Here we go. Really, Link? <laughs> really? I would have been fine if you didn't roll. Alright. We got it this time. Just wanna... Nope. Oh, hey, I got it. I think you're supposed to only be able to do that if you're down uh, more. Like, if you're down here, you can get it better than you can up there, but... I was in the transition area, I guess. In between the two, so... Let's get the hell out of here. I see some pea hats over there. Getting ready to smack a bitch. I'm kind of running out of uh, magic. Hopefully I make it over there. Yeah, I'll make it over here, no problem, unless those pea hats decide to uh, ruin my day. Nope. I'm just going to ruin your day. Where's the other one? Hello. Magic. Man, we haven't fought this boss in a long time. And here we go. That's another one that can be defeated really easily. All I did was one of those uh, hurricane spins, and that that was it. That was great. And then the onion door has unlocked, which leaves just one more 